Welcome to another unauthorized and rum fuel treasure hunt in the sharky waters around the Gatsby Islands with Pirate Queen Wendy. I got some grubs today. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yep, yep. This is the yep. pirate princess, and I am ah! Captain Ordovia. And today's <laughs> test is <laughs> what refactor Queen Ray calls from React Helmet to the new React Head API. Head API. Head 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 head. Yes, so you covered the uh, how, and then I'll maybe oh I'll explain the, what, the, the what, why, and the what, and then I'll do the uh, why, yeah. and Lillian needs yeah. to be quiet. Yeah. Can you give her her book? Okay, so uh, the why is because I have... I think it's always good to not uh, to remove dependencies. So now that Gatsby has support for adding um, elements to the head, we can use that instead of using React Helmet through Gatsby plugin React Helmet. And also, I've seen some very intermittent, intermittent, intermittent um, problems when I've been using React Helmet. Like every now and then my site audit comes up with you are missing title tag or you are missing different tags in like one or two pages uh, when my site is newly built. So hopefully moving to the uh, kind of built-in head IPI will, I won't see those issues anymore or those intermittent issues. Hard to test though, because they are like, I they just happen every now and then and they, I you know, it was on like two pages. So I just kind of ignored it. But anyway, and how we're going to do this, we're going to be working on a mature code base, I guess, because we've been working on the Queen Rake Codes web page. And um, so we'll try to do it so that we can reuse the SEO component we already have. And we'll do it in a way where we can kind of, um, you know, migrate page per page instead of having to do like a full blown refactor, because that's always a good way to do it. I often, you know, decide I'm going to do things in little steps. And then I kind of set out and I do it in a big, uh, big, like as a big project, like in one big go and I always regret it. So today we're going to follow my own advice and do it so that we can migrate one page at a time so we can kind of release the changes as we go along. Great. Friends, I'm going to move myself over to the left side. Boop! Because then I can look at Ula. When I'm looking this way, I look at Ula. <laughs> like I'm looking at you, right? Um, so first things first was something that I did pre-stream is that we need to um, upgrade Gatsby to version 4.0. 19 i think was the um was the one that um came with the gatsby head api so the what i did before stream was to actually um upgrade all of my gatsby dependencies with my yolo gatsby upgrade which is yarn upgrade dash dash pattern gatsby dash dash latest so it updated all of uh the gatsby plugins to their latest and we are now on four two two but before we go any further, let's think of talk about, you know, why are we doing these head things anyway? Let's head on over to our queen page. And if we inspect, can I zoom into my inspector here as well? Oh, I can look at that. Hopefully this makes sense. If we have a little bit of a look here in our head section, these are the things we're talking about. These are the things that are added to head. And you can see that some of these are like added by my um, UI framework. Some of them are added here and there. But if we have a little closer look, we'll see that some of these are added by React Helmet. Oh! So it will say data React Helmet true. 
And these howdy are dowdy, says the Howdy dowdy, Nessa, good to see you. He said Tom. howdy howdy, by the way. Not howdy, howdy howdy, I like it. Howdy howdy, howdy howdy. Mm. So these are the things that are, are added by my React Helmet implementation now. And why yes. do we want to add these things to the head? It's these are things that you know search engines look for or social media sharing look for. So you can yes. see here it's like the Twitter title, the Twitter creator, Twitter site, all of these things. And why do we have to do this in kind of like a roundabout way when we're working with Gatsby? It's because Gatsby is generating these things, you know, service side generated, but then it rehydrates on the client. So when we're oh. working kind of in Gatsby line with our pages, we're only working inside this div, div underscore, underscore, underscore Gatsby. So when we create a page in Gatsby, that's kind of where we're living. Like whatever we're making will be put inside of there. So we no, want to mess here. with that. Oh, Scott! Hello! that meta tag goodness. Absolutely. And finally, a head component. Very true. Very true. So when we're working with Gatsby and creating a page, we're actually only working inside of this, like this div that is straight inside of the body. So that's where kind of our React components and our page or our page component is kind of put into there. So when we want to mess around with the head or something else, we'd either have to kind of hook into the Gatsby life, some of the Gatsby lifecycle hooks, but with the new or 419, I guess, version and the new head API, we can export a head component in the same way we kind of export a page component. So whatever is exported as the default component will be put inside of this Gatsby div. And then whatever is exported as the head component will be put into the head. So let's, let's start. Yes. So for me, and what I usually tip or what I typically do is that I create an SEO component. So this is an SEO component that will, that does a static query to some of my page data but then it also will take in some metadata from the page. And then it just does a lot of magic. This could probably be cleaned up to then know what to put into all of these. So as I said, instead of just starting to refactor this, we're going to duplicate it and create a new component so that we can migrate page by page. And when we migrated all of our pages, we can delete this original component. So... Let's call it page head.js. Yeah. And then we're just going to copy paste all of this SEO goodness. Let's rename it. Rename page head. Okay, so now we got it. And let's start with our email template. So as you can see, I'm kind of picking out some information here. And I'm giving my SEO component all of the props, but I'm also giving it like a meta prop here with the title of the page, the description of the page, and uh, open graph image, and then also the author. So if the author is Ula, then that will be added instead of the default that is me. Um, so to get do this with a new uh, with a new head API, we need to export head. So we can do that by sorry export function head that should be correct um and what i've realized then when we get these new kind of we've gotten this new one where it's expert function head i am gonna re d or refactor this also to do be export default function email so that these are oh i left my screen <laughs> I just locked my whole screen. Okay, we're back. And I have to share my screen again. I I will do some uh, troubleshooting there you here go. with the with the pirate. Okay, so he has got to help Lillian fix his her audiobook. So we'll do the export default function email and then instead of exporting it as a default const. So there we go. Because then I feel like this makes sense. Like we export function the head, then we export function 
you know, email page. It kind of looks nice to read. We export the head, we export the page, and then we export our data query down here. And I still feel like that can be a const. Um, so yes. Uh, and what we need to return here then is our page head. Page head. And it will need the same things then as my original uh, SEO component. So let's, I guess let's, my copy pasting game is not on form. Let's just cut it out from there and then put it in here. Yes. So the head gets the same, um, the same um, props as our page does. So let's grab the data and then Let's grab the rest of them as props. And now it, you can see we no longer need this props in our page because we only needed that for the SEO component. And then I'll just copy paste all of this. And then let's see what we still need for our SEO component. Uh, we don't need the related email, HTML tags. We only need Scott these. has a comment here. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's I made this for using Gatsby. Oh, I think he made an SEO component as well. I remember I was actually making an SEO component together at one point, or at least looking at each other's SEO components to make sure that we had mm, all of the correct data in there. So this should then be. But maybe he can clarify if that was what he meant. So now we're using the page head that um, we already had, that we have duplicated. The SEO component that we duplicated and called page head, we're now using uh, that, returning that from our uh, head here. And it looks like all of this, we got everything we need destructured from the data. And we no longer need the description and the author in our page. And that looks kind of good. But if we head over to our head component, it's still using React Helmet. So let's get rid of React Helmet. And basically, this we no longer need a wrapper around our kind of head things because we're just exporting it as head. Um, so we'll just use a fragment. And then we'll, um, you know, everything that's within this fragment will be exported here as the head, and that will hopefully be put into uh, the head element on our in our HTML. Hopefully that makes sense. OK. Yes, that's great. So I think that's it. Let's see if this runs. Always a the fun part. Yes. So, so, so wh what have we been up to lately? Oh, I was going to say something else. So has oh. Scott started in his new job yet, or has he just got it? I think he has, because he had like the longest vacation, maybe not as long as our vacation, but he had like the longest vacation. Um, and he is starting together with uh, Alexandra. Hmm? Alexandra? Yeah, Arisa. Yes! And also yes. Alexandra that we've had on the show. We both had Arisa on the show. We've had Alexandra on the show. And Scott and... was here in the, you know, original days. But, yeah. you know, maybe yes. he wants to come back. And show us some some story block goodness because that's yeah. where he started. Second week, he says. Oh, there you go. Second week, second week. Yeah. Yes. Good. Oh, so the only warning here we now are getting is that SEO is defined but never used. So we can like clean up our SEO, our uh, warning logs. So I must say, because I've been looking at some code now, I'm doing a code review. You always want to kind of clean up your warnings and your errors because even if they're not that bad, if they're not like actually making your page act up, it's really hard after a while to catch the important warnings and the important errors if you don't consistently kind of clean up your warnings and errors because then you maybe won't notice when a new error or warning pops up that you actually have to deal with. So yes. keep dealing with your warnings and errors as you go along. Or what do you say, Ola? Yes. Deal with them as you go along. Yes. yes. Um, because that will just make your life so much easier down the road when things, you know, start to not work out. Okay. Let's have a look at our local host then. Okay. So here we are in our local host. So we can do an inspect here again. 
and let's see what we got in our head. Oh, so my data motion in dev is just going crazy. So ignore that, but it doesn't in production. But if we keep going down here, oh, look at that. Oh, but it still yeah. says, oh, well, we're on the we're on the index page. We didn't change the index page. So how could I see that? Well, I can see that it says data react helmet true. And you know, we were changing, so we shouldn't have is this big enough? But anyway. Yes. Oh, now I just made the web page bigger. Data React Helmet true, but we don't want that anymore. So let's have a look at one of the um, email pages instead. So if we go back up to our head and look at that, Data Gatsby head yes. true. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was yeah. a pretty straightforward migration, I would yep. say. Um, and it's a little tip while we're on this subject. I really recommend the detail, detailed SEO, um, what's it called? Data extension app? What are these called? Anyway, um, yeah, detailed SEO. It will actually show you a lot of information about you know all of these tags that you have in your site. And then recently, I also came over the social share preview that will probably not work now because um it's referencing an image that should be on the uh, queen domain and not on the local host domain but um i also like this social share preview quite nice we have a question oh, we made it work i will read it i will read it okay before react helmet came and the feature for exporting as head were the meta tags generated outside gatsby Yes. So before using, if you weren't, if you didn't want to use React Helmet, and you didn't want to use um, that, or and we didn't have that head API, you could use something called set head component. No, what's it called the life cycle? It's a Gatsby life cycle hook, and it's what uh, Gatsby is using under the hook, hu 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 under the hook. <laughs> It's, <laughs> I only had like five sips of this drink. It's what Gatsby uses under the hood, I believe, with their head API. And it's like set head component or something um, to, where is it? Great question then. It's a good question. Like, let's see, Gatsby lifecycle hooks. Here, lifecycle API. This was not the ape. This is not the API. It. Oh boy. We need to talk about Gatsby about their docs these days. Let's see. I reference. Where are my there? Gatsby node APIs. So no, not node. It was the SSSR. Hmm. Gatsby SSSR. Gatsby. Yeah, the SO, it, it was right there on the bottom. R. Oh. No, this is the wrong one. See? Now we're just being confusing. Because it's not yeah. the SSSR, it's the SSG. But it was called Gatsby dash SSR. Um, working with, it was like set body. I have set body body component component uh, Gatsby. Let's see if we can find it. Because we already kind of did the job we needed to here, I guess. On redder body. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yes. So on render body, which is a little bit wrongly named because it's on render body, but inside of there, you have a helper function that's called set head components. So I think oh. that's what Gatsby is using under the hook with this um, head API is that it will use set head components and that will hook into and change the, the head component for you. And as you can see here, you oh, it's a little small. Um, you can do other things that make you work outside of the body. Like I said, when we are exporting our page, Gatsby page, that all gets put into the div that has underscore, underscore, underscore Gatsby in it. And that's kind of what we control with our page components. But using the um, Gatsby-SSR uh, file, 
you can hook into some of these other lifecycle hooks or these other APIs. And one of these is set body components and you can do set head components. You can do HTML attributes if you want to add things to the HTML, um, to the actual HTML element. You can do set body attributes, pre-body components, post-body components. So set post-body component is a good one if you want to add your script to the body and not to the head. So yeah. There are different ways of doing that, but now we have this cool new, you know, we just export a function or a component called head and that's it. And the that's, reason it, yeah. That's the question again. So is the new head function just that named function? Yes. So you do export function head and then you return whatever you want to have inside of the head. And that's it. Let's that see if we just, if, I don't know if it does any validation. Like what if we return something that's completely Ill illegal, but first let me, sh let me show you why this was so such an easy migration. And that's because I used kind of the new version of, um, of react helmet. So all of these, oh. uh, tags are just oh. inside of the helmet. John is here. Woo. Got some good oh. people in the house today, or in the ship, I mean, on board. He says, he says, Arr. welcome on board, John. Yes. So, um, yeah, so, but th this was such an easy migration for me because I had already migrated to kind of the modern version of Helmet before all of, a lot of these were kind of added as props, but in the new version of Helmet, they're added as actual tags. It's actually actual HTML in here. So when I change it over to the page head, kind of all I needed to do was remove that helmet wrapper and things were still working. Um, so that's Next. kind of cool. Next question. Do you import the head component anywhere? No. So in the same way that kind of Gatsby knows that whatever it, whatever is default, the de whatever the default export is, that's your page component the named export if you name it head it will be added to the head so you don't have to import it anywhere you don't have to do anything but mm. i imported my custom page head and then returned that from this um head component here um but you can also if you wanted to you could you can do we could do like an easy one you know we could also just return title and be like, I ruts. Yar, ar. And we should have that as our title. If this re. And look at that. It says pirates up there. Yeah. And then we also lost a lot of the other goodness, right? So if we go down to our, I mean, this emotions, they're just adding and adding. Um, yeah, so we only have the title here. That's the Gatsby data, Gatsby head, true. And that's the only thing we have. Um, but I just reused the SEO component that I have. And I believe most of you will have an SEO component that you've already created using the old guide for how to do SEO components. So I wanted to show you how to migrate from your existing SEO component to the new head API. But now I want to have a little fun. Like, can we put anything in here? Does it do any um, validation on what we put inside of our, um, inside of our head? Cause like a span, I don't think is a valid thing to put inside of the head. We'll have any more questions. Please keep them coming. Yes. I yes. like, I like the interactivity. Because Makes SEO sense. is kind of important if you want people to find your site, right? Oh yeah, if you actually, you know, if you actually want people to uh, <laughs> to have a look at your site, yeah. Um, if you if you do it wrong, then then um, if you do it people, wrong, things can can pe go bad. Pe people might actually not find your site. Yes. You know, the it's like scenario. I feel like a lot of these things are just like housekeeping. You should have a proper HTML 
dumb structure. You should have your social media sharing tags in place. And if you kind of just follow the back best practices for these things, Google will start picking up. But there are things you can do to mess it up. But I feel like if you don't try to be too clever and just kind of like create a good DOM structure, then you're halfway there. If you start messing up your DOM structure, like things are not going to be good. So it yes. looks like they're actually cleaning, doing some validation because I don't see my span in here. Oh. So when I just added a span, like that got cleaned up. That's good. It means that they're helping you keep a good DOM structure. Is it super secret? The whole spy thing? What I'm doing these days? No. It's this. I, I went to GitHub today and I found this. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Ines. I didn't mean to bump you there. Um, I went to GitHub today and I found this branch. I don't know where I have it now, but it was a branch on Gatsby. It was called something V5. I know, because I have been excited about V5. I'm wondering what's coming out. And he, he, I... He... He had opened it, Vard Peters. He had done some something rehydration, something, something. Yeah, it looks like yeah. they're working on it. So hopefully that's going to be out soon. I yeah. am really, I really, really hope that we get access to the data layer in functions so that you can decide, you know, you can source a lot of data and then some of it will, you'll access your, through, do your, through your serverless functions and some you can access when you're creating the pages because that means you like if you source content from somewhere and you want to maybe lock down and make some of it paid only you can then instead of fir first sourcing the data into Gatsby to show kind of the free preview and then using the original API or whatever through the serverless function to get it you can then ask the serverless function to just access the data layer for the content that you're not showing in your pages, if that makes sense. Groovy. And I really, 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 really think that is cool. But we don't think it's soon. When do you think it's coming? I mean, like realistically, think about that for a while and I will get, you have another question here. A question from the audience. It's nice to be able to use GraphQL to bring in data to the head. Yes. Also, before I had to use location.pathname to access some logic in the pages. Yeah. I yeah, I I do like that it's got the same kind of um got the same signature as our pages. So you get the same information into your head as you would get to your pages. And I also think I do some some fun with the location. Yeah, like here, I get the location path name to create my canonical URLs. Ooh. And canonical URLs are quite important for um, for SEO as well. If you have your staging environment, and then you have, you know, and you can say that the staging environment, you know, should not be searched by in by Gatsby. No, by Gatsby, by Google. Why are these all started with G? Um, but also in case you are publishing somewhere else, if you're publishing yeah. on Medium, for instance, and you also have that same blog post on your own site, you want to make sure that kind of the, in, I think in Medium at least, or in Dev2, you can set the canonical URL on that blog post to be your domain. So that for Ooh. Google, even if they find your blog post on Dev2, it will attribute that blog post to your domain. So you want on your blog post, on your domain, you want to have the canonical URL be your domain. And then on Dev2 or Medium, you want the canonical URL to be your domain. And then Google will take that like kind of duplicated content. It's the same content in two different places. And then it knows Medium or Dev2 does not own this content. Your domain owns this content. Uh, but you kind of get the reach and the juice from Dev2 and Medium while keeping kind of the domain, like the ownership of the content. Uh, yes. So that's that an important one to set. That uh, doesn't and it sound can... like medium to me, but maybe it's true. 
<laughs> well, maybe maybe not Medium, but I think at least Dev2, you can do that. Like some of the newer <laughs> blogging platforms have started doing that because otherwise people don't want to use their blogging platforms because they yeah. know people want to own their their content so yes. they've started making it so that you can add canonical urls to the to the content on those content uh platforms which is kind of cool yep okay so we've done that for our email page i thought maybe we should just like you know be good people and head to production as soon as we've done a little bit you know Instead of doing everything and then never finishing, let's do a refactor email template to new Gatsby, Gatsby head API. And then we can actually just get this ball rolling. Yes. Oh, we have a comment here from Inessa too. Uh. Never thought of the different branches as a reason to set canonical URLs. So I think for most cases you will be fine because I I believe both Gatsby Cloud and Netlify and probably Vercel as well, they will kind of stop search engine traffic to your preview URLs. But I'm not 100% sure of this, but I think they do. Um, but it's never a bad thing to have your canonical or URL set up correctly so that, you know, if it's the case that either, you know, you never know these services, suddenly maybe they did and then they stop or whatever. It's always nice to kind of point back to your own domain as the, the like the, you know, the owner um, of your content. It's just, yeah, good practice. Yes. And also, sometimes when people steal your content too much, like sometimes they even, you know, steal that kind of data and then they point back to you. Like if you if they scrape your site or something. Anywho, I pushed it. Let's do yes. a pull request. So email template to new head ABI, create pull request. Then we'll see it build and we can see on Gatsby Cloud, if this is actually working, and then we can merge it in, and then we can ship it. So this is going to take a while, because I now changed a component that is imported into every email that I have written. So Gatsby Cloud will need to regenerate every email page. So it's going to take longer than if I just wrote a new email because then it only needs to regenerate that one new page. But yeah. when you do changes to either your header, your footer, or your head, you know, then Gatsby will have to re rebuild all of all of the pages that reference that component. They are working on something. There is an open uh, request for comments on slices where they will only kind of rebuild that slice or that component and then swap Whoa. that out in your pages. But that is Snooty's not- Snooty's here. Yay! Hello, Snooty. Good evening. Good evening, pirates. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and one kind of faux pas I see with that all the time is, um, and even, Paul, original pirate, Paul, or navigator Paul, got called out on this on Twitter. Because one thing that you often see is that maybe in the head or often in your footer. So like maybe in my footer, I would have had, do I have a footer? Um, probably not. But maybe in your header or your footer, you want the build time. So this page was like, you know, uh, built, last built on a specific time. But your footer is included in every page. And what changes every time if you're asking for the build time? Yeah, the footer will change every time your page or your site is built, right? So by kind of just like adding this little tidbit of info to your footer about when the site was last built, that makes it so that every page on your site has to be rebuilt every time. So do not do that um, if you want faster builds. <laughs> So, um, Scott so says, Paulie, 
I don't know if yeah. Paul is in the, uh, oh, there he is. He's late right when I called him out. That is yeah. funny. Did you hear that, Paul? Or did I kind of manage to um, to say bad things about you while you weren't here? Did you say, <laughs> did you say bad things? He got called out on Twitter for having the build time in the footer of his page, making every page on his site having to rebuild every time or having to be regenerated every time he builds his site. So, um, but I don't think he has thousands of pages yet, so he'll be fine. Um, anywho, Scott, this Scott is still building. Here. Uh, Lol. Yeah, I have got I've got several sites pointing back to my canonical from people ripping off my content. <laughs> oh, Paul says you say called out. I was testing slices API. Well, I saw some people calling you out, but that's that's fine. That's fine. Let's just put that to rest for now. <laughs> we are excited about the slices. Um the slices API and um, also Paul, maybe you can tell us when version five is coming out. We just saw the alpha release came out. So this is still building because we're rebuilding all my emails, which is ahoy. Wild. I'm late, but ahoy. So, ahoy. Yeah. Ahoy. So we'll just chit chat because we kind of done what we oh, needed to do today. He says and then we make sure. Sorry, yeah. sorry. I'm going to read. I'm going to read this now. Gatsby five equals soon. <laughs> oh, the Pyre Princess is excited about that. We are looking at the bill. We need that elevator music. Music. Boop 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 boop. Oh. Go devs. Do we know any Snooty. Devs? Blasphemy. We're all no. about Gatsby here. No, just kidding. <laughs> I have you never know, looked into Go. Paul, say hi to die. Hi. <laughs> it's going to come, huh? So, yeah, I just Googled or not, you know, looked up the uh, 2,722 <laughs> versions of Gatsby. Hello. But look at that. Lilla Winkel, Paul. Hello. <laughs> She's waving at you, Paul. Hello. Hello. And I think this fall might be the time I get to meet uh, Paul. It's kind of the fall of meeting all of my internet friends. This week, Monica of Blogging for Devs visited us in Oslo, yeah. which was a lot of fun. And then Lil and, and I are going to... Uh, Heidelberg in Germany um, with some family <laughs> friends and yeah. my mommy brain just separated that from my other life so I didn't even think about it but then I was chatting with Monica about meeting up with other people in Europe on Twitter and my co-host from the Slow and Steady podcast was like what are you going to be in Heidelberg like when because he lives just like <laughs> an hour <laughs> an hour and a half <laughs> from Heidelberg <laughs> so I'll get to meet Benedict and then hopefully I'll get to meet Paul in London for modern front end uh, front ends when I'm a speaker um and maybe the family and then of course I'm going to San Francisco for the Jamstack conf and I think there will be lots of internet peeps there as well so this is this is the fall of being a internet social. Oh, it's done. It's done. So let's check out our detailed SEO. So uh, as you can see, it will say that this is wrong because it's not the same URL as here. And when we were, as we were talking about with canonical, but it's correct because that's what I actually wanted to be. <laughs> You got to put on an event in uh, Ottawa in as a. Yes, I will. I will read it. <laughs> Why don't we have dev events in Ottawa? Well, um, where is it? Vespos is living. <laughs> oh, maybe he can do one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You you have to make one yourself, Ina. So you have to find one other person. It's gonna go. Bye you bye. To, you have to find one other person and and you know arrange for a meeting up, and then invite yeah. anybody else who wants to come. Yeah, that would be super nice. Also, but where is Ottawa? Is what side of 
What side of Canada is that? Isn't it right by the lakes there? Right by the lakes? Don't they have several lakes? No, Let's the American see. lakes. I yeah, it's right by the lakes there. Oh, but it's on the East Coast. I remember because yeah. we went to Montreal when we were in Boston. Yep, yep, we did. So, you know, if there's the next like big tech meetup in New York, maybe you could uh, travel down and yeah. hang out with people there. Yes. Yeah. It's not that you far. Gotta send anyway. in some. Yeah, or send in some call for pro um, call for proposals, <laughs> CFPs. Yeah, call for proposal when it comes to talks um, in ESA, and they'll fly you to the conferences, and you can speak at them. That's the pro tip. And if you need any help with the proposal, just let me know. A little bit that bad timing you. for me there to say that'll be fun after uh, sending in proposals. <laughs> Paul, Paul has a Paul has a meetup in New York City. He the Paul Tech Conference in New York City, <laughs> October twenty twenty two. Oh, 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 I didn't see the CFP for that, Paul. Oh, 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 Otherwise, oh. I would send it in and have you pay for my ticket to New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you can do it do it okay let's see how this uh how we're doing with this we're just building and building and building when this is and uh maybe we should just like head on into our summer Eula and then i we oh, can yeah. hopefully see it in production um before our time is up okay i'll do the what then refactor queen ray codes from react helmet to new React Head API. Yes. So why we would want to do that was because is because it's always good to get rid of dependencies you don't need because then you don't need to update them and keep track of them and all of those things. Also, I have seen the more emails I've gotten on my Queen site, the more kind of intermittent, very intermittent problems I've had with my title and description tags and other tags like suddenly uh, href, which I use to kind of like monitor my site, has been telling me that there has been errors in these tags and I haven't looked into it. I'm hoping this refactor to or migration to the head API will kind of just, I'll never see these problems again. And if I do, I'll make sure to let Gatsby know so they can fix whatever is up. Um, and how we did it, uh, we did it by reutilizing my SEO component because I wanted to do this page by page. I didn't want to be stuck not like shipping anything by doing a full-blown migration or refactor. So what we did was that we took my initial SEO component here that adds all of these nice things that you need in your head to have a proper site. Um, and some things that aren't really SEO, like the um, fav icon and stuff like that. So we took all of that and I copy pasted that into a new page head component, which is actually a better name for it than SEO since some of these things are not SEO. Um, so I copy pasted that in and then we just removed the helmet component that was surrounding everything and use a fragment instead. Um, but we didn't change anything else in that component. Then we headed into the email template. We removed, we copy pasted the SEO component usage from our page component. And we now return it from the exported head component instead so that Gatsby knows, oh, whatever is returned from this head is supposed to be added to the head. I'm saying head, head, head to the head element of our HTML. And it needs to be called head and exported. And then Gatsby magically knows, like Gatsby magically knows that whatever we do as our default export, it's going to be our page component. And whatever we do as our query uh, const is what's going to be the data that is going to be queried or the query that's going to be included with the page. So that's how we did it. Yeah. Yep. But who's... What's when's the next guest? So I yes, on the well, on the 22nd, Colby Fayak of Cloudinary is coming. The week before 
which would be, and I've had too much of this drink to do that in, in my head. Come again, week four. The the week before we're gonna have um. We're gonna have. I have a calendar here. Start again. Start from the top. Shelby Fayek is coming on the twenty second. Uh, yes. And then. Or is it the 29th? It is. No, the 20... no it's the twenty second. I double checked earlier today. And then okay. Jesus Manuel Olivas is coming on the week before, which is then what the fifteenth? Fifteenth. The fifteenth. Oh, that guy, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to be working on the Drupal, his Drupal plugin, and working with images on his Drupal plugin. And then Josh from Gatsby is coming the week... Before that? After the Colby. Colby. That's 29 yeah. then. Say again, Josh. That's cool. Okay, people. Yes, the 29th, we'll have Josh. Let's see if I can find him on Twitter. And John has something here. Well, I'll wait to that. But if you people have any suggestions for guests, send them to the Queen, send them to the Queen. Yep. Oh, there he is, Josh77. And I'm going to try to... Um... I'm going to try to schedule all of these streams so that they will be ready on YouTube and you can add your, you know, click the little notification bell on all of them so that you will be notified uh, when we do these. Or you could sign up on the Queen site for reminders that are sent out a half an hour earlier. I forgot that today, but they're usually sent out a reminder email 30 minutes before the show for those people who have signed up for reminders. Yes. Okay, so those are the guests, and we want more guests. So if people have some tips, yeah, and love... then and then yeah. on the on October sixth, I'll be in Heidelberg, so no show. But then on the thirteenth, we're gonna have a show with Cam. Thirteenth of uh, October. October, we're gonna Cam. have a show with Cam Sloan to see how we can integrate his product, Hopscotch, with Gatsby. Oh, yeah. And then Paul pull says... Up, uh, no, but pull up John's comment first because that is important. Tip. Make sure in your own code you didn't call your header component head. Yes, yeah, so if you're going to create a reusable component like I did here with page head, there is a reason why it's not called head because you can't import a component called head and then export another component as head. So... That is a pro tip, call it page head and you're good to go. Or if you absolutely have to call it head, you could always do import head as page head and then you'd use that or something like that. But, but make sure that is a great tip. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Look at all the stuff I have open. Okay. And then Paul says, I love it, even though I haven't got a clue what it is. Would you like to speak to Abi about Valhalla? Yes, I Abi would love to speak to him. And Valhalla sounds very piratey. <laughs> That's where all pirates who die while they're actually doing piratey, piratey activities. When they die, they come to Valhalla. And in Valhalla, they eat. Wait a minute. No, they party all night with great food and drink. And then they fight all day maybe that should be updated to a more modern kind of <laughs> I paradise <laughs> i don't know i don't know but it's hard to know what it's actually like there you know you don't really know so it's great it's great we love it what is valhalla i have no idea i didn't read the blog post <laughs> but yeah we 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 want to talk to Abe. He's 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 cool. I've seen him on um uh, at least one video, maybe two. Yeah, that would be great. Absolutely. And uh, you know, with seven minutes to spare and all this, so even with all this to chat, we uh, got the email template. 
migrated to the React Head API, yes. as we can see here, where it says Data Gatsby Head True instead of uh, Data React Helmet True or whatever it's used to do. <laughs> and Paul says, sign up to the Gatsby newsletter. No, don't sign up for my newsletter and I'll filtrate what? what's in interesting for for everyone. <laughs> no, no, no. I think you should. I have I have signed up for it. And it's uh, yeah. it's great. Yeah, sign it I, up. I have, sign your... I have I have as well. And I was featured in the last one, so I should not knock it. I just like go. to um I like to kid what's it called? I like to tease tease, I guess, Paul a little bit. Not tease. I can't remember the English word. Anyway, like <laughs> George says we'll we'll sign up for both. Yes, we'll George. sign up for both. <laughs> what an idea! <laughs> what an idea! Yeah. Um, and also, I just wanted to let everyone know that sometimes when the show starts rolling, we'll already update the descriptions, but often it will be right after the show. We'll update the description with links to the code. And then tomorrow on Fridays, I usually send out an email about, you know, what was on the show with links and code uh, examples so that you can review whatever we've covered on the show um, by looking at the code. <laughs> Good one, Paul. Thank you. Ines says banter, banter. Yes, yes, I liked it. Yes, banter. Yep, that's good. good. Thank you. I guess that's it for today. Lilian, come up. Lilian, come up. The hood is when Timber in corner. She's like, not now. Open like. She is in Not the Not easy of... being a pirate princess. You know, no. you gotta work for your board and um and everything. <laughs> Thank you, John, for consistently showing up. Yeah. And having I... really good questions and suggestions. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Always fun with lots of great information. Cats. Cats. <laughs> and um and um uh, okay and yeah it was a fast one in essa but it's actually been an hour we did the gatsby restaurant hunt with buggy and queen ray and our guest was lilium <laughs> and I'm Olivia. Is that did it? Did you hear the melody? Yes, we did hear the melody. <laughs> Have a good night, Snooty. <laughs> 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 <laughs>